Welcome or welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about the new ColourPop on the list collection. And I also wanted to try some different makeup techniques that I do not normally do. So I thought this would be fun. I did get this collection in PR. There is an eyeshadow palette, six lipsticks, and four of these eyeshadow sticks, which I had not tried before. So I've already done a couple looks with this palette, so it's not a first impression. So I will do a look and I'll do the swatches of the lip products and the palette at the end of the video. So let's get started. Like I said, I did get this collection in PR from ColourPop and this packaging is so pretty. And right now I think this collection is just at Ulta. Here is the color story of the palette. It's pretty neutral, but it has some fun shades. Um, this teal is really nice. This one is beautiful. And I love these like peachy mattes. I've been really enjoying those. Like I said, there are four shadow sticks. I'll swatch these at the end. And six Lux Cream lipsticks. The packaging on these is so pretty. So I'm pretty excited. Now for me, I do not use shadow sticks very often, but since I got these in PR, I did try them out and I have to say I did enjoy it. So I'm going to use one today because for me, this is definitely a different type thing, not something I normally do. Um, I want to use this one, what it is called, Devotion, and it is a metallic. And so what I did before when I used this, I just kind of like put some on my pinky <laughs> and then just kind of, whoa, well, yeah, I already messed that up. <laughs> I should probably be using a mirror. Yeah, I did a terrible job at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just gonna try this and then blend it out with my finger. I already have on the MAC Painterly Paint Pot because my eyelids are oily, so I feel like I have to use a standard eye primer first. I mean, you could use these on their own. I have not tried that, but it's definitely an option. I wore the green one in a look the other day underneath the green eyeshadow from the palette and I did really enjoy how it turned out. So yeah, I just, you know, sometimes it's fun to change things up. I definitely get stuck in my habits where I do the same type of makeup techniques. I admit for sure it happens. So. I do want to use this beautiful shade here called Reality. So, so before when I used this palette, I actually did not spray my brush. We'll see if I end up doing that. So again, trying to try some different stuff here. Yeah, this one's really pretty. Definitely duochrome. Look at that, wow. Yeah, so far I've been really impressed with the palette. The first two looks that I did, I really enjoyed. I think this is a really nice palette and there are no pressed glitters, which is great. I've mentioned before, personally, I am not a pressed glitter person. So yeah, this one's really pretty though. Definitely a duochrome. Okay, so I'm going to, let me grab, no, this, <laughs> different brush. Okay, I wanna use the BK Beauty 201. I've been loving this for the crease. And so I want to use this shade called Plus One, just to kind of blend this out. So let's see. Alrighty. I mean, you could almost use just that first eyeshadow because it kind of just blends out on its own. I'm loving this brush so much. And really overall, I'm really impressed with the BK Beauty brushes. So I think I just wanna keep this like a super simple eyeshadow look. 
that's it. We're trying something different. You know, I thought this would be fun. So yeah, pretty simple, but overall, like I said, I'll do swatches at the end of the video. I'm really enjoying this palette. And I have to say, this is a simple but really fun look. So I'm gonna clean the fallout and I'll be back. I'm really enjoying the simplicity of this eye look, actually. I think it's really pretty. So I put on the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Sunkissed Face Primer. And so a technique that has been around for a while, obviously, and I have done before, is underpainting with contour. So like putting it underneath foundation. Um, and I've done this for quite a while actually, and I really enjoy it. But something I saw recently that I tried for the first time is also underpainting with blush. Now, I have tried this with a few cream blush colors, and personally, I have found that more neutral colors for my skin tone work better. So this is the NYX in Nude Tude. This is their Sweet Cheeks blush, which I really enjoy. I did try this with a more pink blush, and I just felt like my entire face looked super pink. And so for my skin tone, it didn't work out. But this one I like because it is more neutral. So I realized that this does look kind of crazy. Um, and then I'm also gonna do liquid highlighter, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, which I've already done a video reviewing this and swatching it in comparison to the Charlotte Tilbury. So if you didn't see that, check it out. That would have been up last week and I'm really enjoying this. I got shade one. I think it is great. So basically what I do is this is the BK Beauty 101, which I adore. So I start with blending the highlighter first. And, and then the blush. And again, I realize that this looks totally like ridiculous, but once you put foundation on, I think I think it looks really nice, so I've been enjoying it. And then blend this out. Now, let us know, have you been doing this? I mean, I'm pretty sure I ended up looking up this whole like underpainting with blush and it, it's been around for a while. It's not new, but it's just new to me, so. Kind of just add some color and shape to the face, but I'm gonna put on foundation. And I don't wanna to use too much though. I'm gonna use my latest combo that I've been doing is the Makeup Forever HD along with my Pure Lease BB Cream, because those are in Project Pans and I'd also just find that it's a nice combo. Alrighty, and for this I am gonna use my sponge. I'm not putting too much on because I still want all that stuff from underneath to still show up. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like if you put on super full coverage on top of this technique, then you might just like completely cover up what you did. and I'm gonna do a little concealer. I'm gonna use, which one? This one from Believe Beauty. This is Shade Biscuit. Okay, blend this out. Yeah, this is a more light to medium coverage concealer I have found. So especially for a look like this where I'm going for more like natural-ish for me face makeup. Not super full coverage, kind of more glowy. That's what I'm trying to achieve, whether I'm achieving that, I have no idea. There's this whole <laughs> clean girl makeup trend or whatever, I'm not on TikTok, but a lot of TikToks, like I said before in another video, like a lot of people post them on Instagram and also on their YouTube shorts. So even if you don't have TikTok, you kind of end up seeing 
what's happening on there. And this clean girl makeup trend has been kind of interesting to me because I kind of looked it up and I was watching some videos about it. So it's supposed to be, I mean, it's still like a full face of makeup, but it's kind of glowy and a little bit more natural. It's not a lot of powder. It's a lot of cream makeup products, but it's still a full face of makeup. It's also not super intense eyeshadow. It's not like super intense, um, like smoky eye or colorful, but yeah, it's still a full face of makeup. So I guess I'm kind of trying clean girl makeup. I don't know. You guys, I'm not trendy. I'm, I'm just not. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just trying some different stuff here. Gonna use the Dior powder to set my face. Oh, and in another video, I experimented and used this on my under eyes and I am here to tell you that that didn't work. <laughs> my mascara and concealer just creased all over. So for me, that does not work on the under eyes, but I do use this one on the under eyes, which is the number seven translucent. So this, I mean, I have to set my under eye because otherwise, yeah, things will crease and look terrible. So this one works, but for me, the Dior, it did not work at all. So I am going to use some powder products on top. Marc Jacobs bronzer, <laughs> still using this. And I'm not going to do too much because I have the you know, cream products underneath, but just need to also set them in place. Just cause I find that if I don't set cream products, my makeup is gonna disappear off my face very, very quickly. Alrighty. So not a ton of bronzer. So blush. Let's see, let me use, um, let me use this hourglass one that's also in a project pan. This is, what shade is this? Brilliant Nude. Since we're going for like, you know, lighter, neutral makeup. And this has a glow too. I think I am gonna just put on a little bit of highlighter, powder highlighter that is. I'm really building up this blush because this is a pretty sheer color. So um, yeah, I'm gonna use my project pan <laughs> highlighter. I know I'm like always using this, but I'm only gonna put on a small amount. Alrighty, and then as usual, I have to use my Essence Pure Nude. You can see the glow underneath from the e.l.f. Halo Glow Filter, and yeah, I like it. So I'm going to do, I've been debating whether I should just do a little bit of eyeshadow on the lower lash line. I think I want to just do a very small amount, going to use the BK Beauty 204 and back into the on the list palette. If I can open it, what is wrong with me? Um, I think I'm just gonna use this same shade called plus one. So very, we're going very simple and neutral here. Okay. So not much, just gives my eyes a little bit of shape. All right, and then with the light shimmer called Hillside, I wanna put that on the inner corner. And I just like to use my pinky for this because <laughs> I'm lazy. This is a really, really pretty color. Look at that. Ooh, that is nice and glowy. I'm gonna do mascara, brows, lips, 
and show you the final look and then I need to swatch the collection too. Alrighty, this is the final look. So let us know, is this clean girl makeup? I don't know. <laughs> I try to do more intense brows. Something I saw in a bunch of these clean girl makeup tutorials is definitely bushier brows, but I feel like I've tried bushier brows on me, trying to like make the hairs stand up and I just kind of look like a frightened werewolf. So it's not cute. I just kind of did my brows mostly as usual and I am wearing a lip liner. Something I noticed in the clean girl look, they always wear lip liner. So I put on NYX in nude suede shoes. And then I am wearing one of the lipsticks from the ColourPop collection and I'm wearing the one called The Lounge. So final look, I really like it. I really enjoy this simple eyeshadow and I think that this shade is really beautiful and I like the glowy face makeup. I think it's nice, you know? I feel like I'm trying something different, go me. So let me show you the swatches from the ColourPop collection. So this is the lounge. This is the Cream Luxe lipsticks. I really, really like this formula. It seems that some of these colors have been around. So that is this one here. And then the next one is Layover. I really love this one. This color, I used to own it actually years ago and then it got really old so I got rid of it. So I know for sure that they've had that color around. This one is called Still Crazy. This one I know for sure they also had around before. Really pretty mauve. I like that one. I've worn that one too. And then there are three bolder colors. This one came a little bit squished. This one is called Gallop. That is a really nice like reddish brown. And then this gorgeous dark brown is called Les Deux. There it is right there, super pretty. And then the last one, which I wore in several videos earlier this week, and a few people did comment on that makeup. This one is called Ivar, which is like a purple fuchsia burgundy color. Really pretty, I loved that one. So I love this formula of the Luxe lipsticks. I think it is super nice. And I, like I said, I've owned some of these before, but they got old, so I had gotten rid of them. So the cream shadow sticks, like this is pretty new to me. Definitely not something I use on a regular basis. This collection does have four, two are cream and two are metallics. This one is called, if I can find the name, the Palace. And this one, I feel like this one and this one could be lip colors too. I haven't tried that. Um, beautiful dark burgundy. The green, I did use the green in a look with the green shade from the palette. And I really like how it turned out. That is it right there. What's the green called? Hide. Oh, okay. Like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, I think. <laughs> Dropping stuff. Oh no, I dropped one of the shadow sticks. Okay, let's hope it's not broken. Um, okay, this is the one that I used in today's look. It is called Devotion. This is one of the other metallics, very, very pretty. And then the last one is another matte shade that again, I feel like could be a lip color. This is Hollywood Canteen. So that is it right there. So yeah, those are the shadow sticks. I liked it. I don't know that I need to do that additional step, but I really like how this eye look turned out and I used the green one before and really enjoyed it as well. Okay, let's swatch the palette. And again, I love the packaging. I think it is so pretty and I'm so happy that it's cardboard. I really prefer their cardboard packaging over the uh, plastic. So this is way better, super pretty. There it is again, gorgeous color story. So let's get to swatching here. Alrighty, we'll just do this. Okay, those are the first four colors. So you've got this pretty champagne peachy color. This is one of those mattes with shimmer, but on the eye, the shimmer just goes away. This is more of like an orangey peach and then this khaki green. All right, next row. Plus one, this one I've worn like every time I've used this palette. That one really liked, hard to see. These four there, this is the shade that I used in the crease today that I love. And then this peachy metallic, I did do a look with and absolutely loved it. Alrighty, here are the last four. This gorgeous red metallic, I love that one. 
And then this green metallic, like I said, I did do a look with that one using the green shadow stick as a base. And personally, I am really enjoying this color story. I love the formula. There are no pressed glitters. The metallics are really smooth. And for the other two looks that I did with this palette, I did not spray the brush. I just feel like these are really smooth and the mattes blend really easily. So this is like the really good ColourPop formula. So I think this is a really fun collection. Absolutely love the palette. For me, the shadow sticks, they're good. I don't know that I need them. If I had not used the shadow stick, I feel like this eye look probably would be fairly similar. I don't know, but for me, that's kind of an additional step that I don't normally do. But I love the Luxe Cream lipsticks. So happy with these. Like I said, I've had some of these before and I think it's a great formula, super comfortable. And yeah, so that is it for this video. Let us know what you think of the ColourPop collection and my attempt at trying new makeup techniques. I feel like I like this makeup look. It's kind of like natural but glowy. So yeah, that is it for this video. I'll put everything in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.